Darwin Nunez is off to a good start at Liverpool. He came off the bench in the Community Shield game against Manchester City and helped his team to clinch the trophy by winning a penalty Robertson and scoring and the last goal of the game. Well, that seals it for sure. If he keeps producing that kind of performance, he could go on to be a huge addition to that Liverpool squad. But did you know that many years ago, before he even moved to Europe, he very nearly quit football due to an injury he sustained on his knee? So here's the story. Nunez really came to prominence as a teenager after he moved to Peñarol, a club in the capital city of Uruguay. He was so good with the reserve team that the coach wanted him in the first team ASAP. Of course, Nunez welcomed the promotion, but he had a small matter that he wanted to attend to before he left. That small matter would end up leading to something that very nearly ruined his career before it really started. Darwin Nunez had grown a deep connection with his teammates in the under-23 team and he wanted to stay and try and win the league title with them before he left. The coach agreed, but he actually should never have done so. The team was due to face Sudamerica and Darwin Nunez was included in the lineup, but the pitch they were playing on that day was so bad and it would end up being the striker's undoing. During the game, he went up for a header, as he so often does, but he landed awkwardly, tearing his anterior cruciate ligament in the process. And you know how ACL injuries are, they require surgery and take a long time to come back from. This was a 17-year-old who had not yet really experienced top-flight football and had hardly kick-started his professional career. His knee had to be operated on twice and that injury alone ruled him out of football for close to two years. His coach at the time, Fernando Curochet, was starting to blame himself for everything. If only he had insisted that Nunez should join the senior team immediately, maybe, just maybe, that injury would have been avoided. Nunez saw how much the whole thing appeared to be eating him up, so he looked at his gaffer and said, Don't worry, don't feel guilty, it's just life. I will recover and keep moving forward. It's just one of those things I had to get past. He may have been young, but he was already showing tremendous strength. But here's the thing though, even for the strongest of all of us, it is difficult to show strength all the time. So when he finally came back to training after a long, long time out, he broke. Nunez tried to stay strong and positive, but he was always in tremendous pain. And according to his former manager, Leonardo Ramos, he would often cry after training sessions. One day, Ramos took him aside and asked him exactly how he was feeling. And the teenage Nunez told his manager of the only thing he wanted to do at that moment to quit football and go back to his hometown to be with his family. That was how bad the pain was. It was simply too much for him. The Uruguayan striker said he still loved playing football, but it had gradually become impossible for him to give 100% on the pitch because of the agony he was feeling in his knee. He seemed to have made up his mind and was ready to abandon his footballing dreams and return home. But Leonardo Ramos decided to try and convince him one last time. He sat him down and had a heart-to-heart -heart with him. According to Ramos, they talked like father and son. The coach reminded him of his dreams and the sacrifices that had been made to get him to the point where he was. While he was suffering from this same injury, his older brother quit football in order to provide for their poor family. He said that even though he was injured, Darwin was a better player than himself and he knew that he was going to be a star, so he had no problem sacrificing his career for his brothers. All of this was enough to convince Nunez to keep going. He returned in 2017 and made his first team debut with Peñarol in November of that same year. But that was him just trying to be strong. He was playing through pain and gross discomfort, but he was determined to prove himself regardless, so he kept on going. We wish we could say it was happily ever after from that point, but actually, it wasn't. In December, about a month after his return, he sustained another injury on his knee and had to go in for surgery again. This just worsened his mental state and once again, he considered quitting. This time, he was very close to actually throwing in the towel. It took the coach, his teammates and his family to encourage him to keep on going. Boy, must he now be grateful for all those people who talked him out of quitting. In 2018, he came back stronger than ever, banging in the goals for Peñarol, helping them win the Uruguayan Primera División. By then, he had already started getting glances from teams in Europe and in 2019, he moved to Spain, signing a five-year contract with Almeria. He scored on his first game for the club and ended the season as the fourth top scorer in the league. His first season at the club was good enough to make it his last season at the club. Benfica, Barcelona and Brighton had noticed him and they all wanted to sign him. 
His compatriot Luis Suarez was doing everything to convince Barcelona to buy the 21-year-old, but it was Benfica who put forward the best bid. They were immediately convinced that he was a star, so they broke the club's transfer record to bring him over to Portugal. The 24 million euros Benfica paid for him was also the most expensive sale Almeria had ever made and the biggest in the Spain Segunda division as well. Now again, we wish we could say it was just happily ever after from here, but still, it wasn't. Darwin Nunez was having such a great time at Benfica when the knee injury came back again. In May 2021, he suffered an injury to his right knee and had to be operated on yet again. He was out for three months as a result of that injury, but when he came back, he was a beast. September 21 was really that month for him. He scored consecutive braces in the league and then went on to score his first Champions League goals against Barcelona, again, a brace. He was man of the match that day and was named Primera Liga Forward of the Month and Player of the Month for September. Now we can finally say that it was happily ever after. After he returned from that injury in 2021, Dani Nunez could not stop scoring. He scored the only goal which knocked Ajax out of the Champions League round of 16 and then went on to score two goals against Liverpool in the quarter-final. His second goal against Liverpool made him Benfica's highest goal scorer in modern Champions League history. He did that at just 22 years old and that performance was enough to get Liverpool really interested in him. Nunez finished the season as Primera Liga top scorer and by the summer, Liverpool paid €75 million Euros to bring him over to Anfield. That amount could climb up to €100 million, Euros, which would make him Liverpool's most expensive signing ever. We're pretty sure if you told 17-year-old Darwin Nunez, who underwent two surgeries on his knee and had to be sidelined for a year and a half, that he would be playing for one of the biggest clubs in Europe at just 23 years old, he probably would have just laughed in your face. But that is his reality now. If you're currently thinking of quitting, let Darwin Nunez's story motivate you to keep going. Anyway, what do you think Nunez's time at Liverpool would be like? Will it be something like the career of the last Uruguayan striker the club had, or do you think it will be a massive letdown? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. While you do that, like the video and subscribe to the channel. Also turn on the bell notification so you never miss out on new content, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.